Okay, switching gears now. She is a familiar face here at Wish TV and one we are pleased to welcome to Andy Style for the very first time. Dr. Mary Gillis joins us this morning. Of course, Wish TV senior medical reporter. Good morning. Good morning, Amber. Welcome to you. I'm so happy to see you and welcome to Indy Style. Let's first, let's, let's back things on up and talk about your role here at Wish TV and of course what people can expect from you. Sure, sure. So I am a medical physiologist. Yes. Um, I speak the language of the 12 systems of the body. So you break it down so we can understand exactly. it. Exactly. We have our brain, we have our muscles, we have our heart, we have our lungs. Yeah. Scientists and researchers and doctors have their own systematic language and I translate that language to our viewers I like that. and to, to the public. Um, so I, I, I don't give medical advice. That's right. not my role right. here. Sure. I'm an educator and I'm an educator through the news. I love that, helping us learn and decipher and, and break it all down. And you also say we're talking health and how complex it is. You're gonna break this down for us because you say we're living our best life, but health is a big part of that as well. I like to think of it like this. We have a Venn diagram, right? We have the circle. Okay, let me let's vision let's that circle. circle. <laughs> and we have our social health, we have our emotional health, we yeah. have our environment, we have our, our current behaviors, we have the behaviors that we want to maybe improve upon. Everything fits at the center is health. And uh, those little circles, yeah. which are not, they're big parts of our life, right, right, overlap right. in that circle. So it's very complex. It's interesting because everything has an effect almost on everything else, right? In that, that core, exactly. I guess you could say. So, so the big question is, what can we do? What can we, uh, or how can we change certain parts mm -hmm. of, of that behavioral health? First, I want to say this. Behavioral change is one of the most difficult things that a person can do. Oh, it's okay. So it's a process. And first, I'll use the example of, let's say, blood pressure. Yeah. First we'll go with awareness. Are we aware that blood pressure exists? Then we'll go to understanding. Do we understand what it means? Okay, it's a number, but do we understand right. what it does to our body? Right. Then we'll go to, let's say we do have high blood pressure, high number higher than we want to have. Yeah. Well then, how relevant is it to us? What's our perception of risk? Let's say we are, our perception of risk is high because we do have a high number. Mm -hmm. Well, Let's say we think we know that diet or exercise is something that we can help among other things because health is very complex. Yeah. Let's say we have our, our attitude towards exercise or dieting or mm -hmm. calorie counts is uh, not, not very positive, yeah. but we believe it will help us. And there's a continuum. To, we want to get to behavior change before we, or behavioral intention, before we can get to behavior change. So it's very difficult. It's, this is so interesting. So there's also a big correlation with how our behavior, our attitude, our perceptions can affect the physical health of our bodies. Exactly. Ish, right? <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. That's very it's good, Amber. It's so interesting. I know we're going to be talking to you more about this and helping us better understand how everything affects another thing. It's like that domino effect, but I know all of your stories uh, can be found as well on wishtv.com. Again, helping us break things down, understand, and interpret it a little bit more mm -hmm. easily, I guess you could say. Untangle it. Tease it out and then put it back together. Ooh, I like how she says that. <laughs> Good stuff. I might have to use that for another day. <laughs> Dr. Mary, thank you so much. Such a pleasure. I'm sure we will see you again soon. Follow her on all the social media channels. She's out there. She's going to help you comb through all of that and put that weave together. All right, Tracy, <laughs> on over to you.